Hello friends, Tony here. Now uh, with the uh, images, I think I am done. So I show you how to upload single one, how to upload multiple and how to download them. And let's go back to tasks. What I want to do here now is uh, to edit tasks. So I want to add a button and edit tasks. And I'm going to use this for to edit task. Okay. Now if you go to live wire, and uh, forms and when we have a form object here we have if you want to use the form this form object for both uh, create and update form you can easily adapt and we have the example but this example is not for our project because here as you can see it suggests that if we have a update post component and then we say we inject the form object and on mount we say post or assign post so we have post on mount because uh, we have the id when we navigate the edit that post and we say this form set post passing the post here and on the say we say this form update and redirect and here is the form a uh, post form and here we inject the post but this uh, add question mark so it's not maybe it's going to be null and we have this method to set a post with accept the post and say this post to be able with this one and update the title and the content based on this post and we have the store and update and on the update we just say this post update this all okay but as i told you we have a different approach here because here we have the task index component which renders and then in that component we add the form component and the list component now on the list i want to click a button and then uh, listen for that button click on the form component okay in that form where we update the uh, fields so let's start by opening the tasks list tasks uh, dash list and here when we have this uh, button groups, I'm going to cut this one and I'm going to add a div with a class the bflex and uh, let's say justify between. And then I'm going to add a div and in this div I'm going to paste this one and another div. And in this div let's uh, add the button and I'm going to use the X uh, primary button. Okay, and let's say for now just edit, just to see what we have. So if I refresh, yeah, here's the edit button. Now when we click to this button, I want to listen to the form component. And then what we can do is we can say wire golden click. We can call the method in the task list class and then dispatch uh, an event on that or we can dispatch it directly here. So I prefer to dispatch directly here. So I'm going to say dollar sign dispatch. And then in here we need to add the name. So I'm going to say uh, edit task. But also we need to add here the ID of the task. And we have the ID of the task because yeah, here we have task. So let's add also the ID in here. And I'm going to say in an object, I'm going to add the ID and then say dollar sign task ID. Okay. And then when we listen for this edit task, we're going to receive the ID as a argument. So let's save this. And we are going to listen that in the tasks for class in here. So let's create a method. I'm going to say a method here. And you can name it what you like, but I'm going to name it edit task. And we're going to receive the ID because we're going to listen for that event here. So let's say hash on to listen for the event and the event name is edit 
task. Okay, so let's open again here. So we dispatch a deep task event and pass in the ID. And in the task form now, we are going to listen for this and here we receive that ID. And what I'm going to do in here, first I'm going to get the for, I'm going to say dollar sign uh, task to be able with uh, task model and use find or find or fail just in case and then I'm going to open also the task form object and what I'm going to do here let's create let's add uh, let's inject the task model so let's say public the same we saw so in the live wire question mark and say task dot assign task so we add here a question mark because this may be not exist import the model task and then down there we have to create the method to set a task so let's say here method set task and here we're going to receive the task so i'm going to say task dollar sign task and then let's say this task to be able with the task we have here also this title to be able with the task title then this slug also the description the status the deadline and uh, the priority i think we are okay and let's see yeah we are okay and if i save now on the task form we are listening for this on edit uh, we listen for the edit task we get the task and what i want to do is say dollar sign this form not date task but I'm, but I'm going to say set the task passing the task here okay we call the set task and pass in the task and then we're going to assign this task to, to this one and also the title slug description and so on let's see let's open the browser and refresh if i click here as you can see uh, the title is updated so let's click to this one and yeah and the status also is done as you can see but the deadline is not working because we need to say here when it's on the deadline we need to say format and we need to format that like this month and day and if i save now and refresh okay let's say edit and yeah now also the deadline is showing here good but when we submit let's see what is going to I'm going to open the tasks form blade and when we submit we are listening here so on the form we say wire submit we are calling the save method in the tasks form component so the, the save is going to say this validate and this form create task and in the task form object we have the create task which is going to say auth user tasks create this auth but we don't need to create we want to update for that what i'm going to do is let's scroll up and i'm going to add another public property and here i'm going to say dollar sign let's say uh, edit mode to be false by default and then when we set the, the tasks i'm going to say also dog assign of this edit mode to be true and now uh, we can say also here if that edit mode is uh, true we can say update and change also the form but what i prefer is just uh, work in this create task and the form is going to remain as it is 
it's just in here when we say create task because on the tasks form we say save and we call this form create task okay this method in here now i'm going to check if we have that if uh, dollar sign of this edit mode is true I'm not going to say out user tasks create but I'm, I'm going to say dollar sign this task because now the this task is present and I'm going to say update okay and let's say dollar sign this all here good then let's say dollar sign of this and i'm going to call reset to reset all of them and then let's also cut this copy this not cut, the copy and paste it here and say uh, updated not created so task updated now if this is true but if not I'm going to say else here and then create a new task okay and also here I'm going to say reset the reset all of them and let's save let's go to tasks form and here we say this validate this create task and dispatch the task created and here we don't need this title also we don't need this form we said because we call in here so we dispatch this task created which we listen in the tasks list and what we done here we just unset this task by status okay i think we are good let's come here and refresh let's say i want to edit this one and i'm going to say edited or updated let's say submit yeah we have edited here but uh, we have your task created and why we have that so let's open the tasks form and let's scroll up when we display that idea here we hard coded the task created but we need to display the message here so let's say instead of something like this we can say session success okay let's save and let's come here and refresh again and i'm going to edit this one and let's say just uh, task updated and i'm going to update this is started now here we have only one started as you can see i'm going to say this the done and the date is going to be today and let's say submit now task updated successfully now we have two done and we have also here task updated and the date is the day okay friends that's it all about this video how to edit the task so let's try so this one and let's say just test updated we can also say test updated here and the description i'm going to copy and just paste it here and let's make uh, this started now we don't have started as you can see also the date is going to be today and let's say submit and yeah we have test updated and now we have one started one in progress and one done also the date the date updated and the description so that's it all about this video friends now i hope you enjoyed don't forget if you like such a video subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best